All right. I've been requested to do the Korean opening. Is SNM listening? SNM. SNM is whining about that. Anyway, we will be having an epic matchup here. Michael versus Zeke on Icarus. Ready? Here we go. Sida! Hagetsubnida! Michael versus Zeke. Zeke, a favorite to win the ISL2. Michael, uh, recently eliminated from ISL2. And in the 12 o'clock spawning as the purple Zerg, we will have GT's Michael. And in the 6 o'clock as the teal Zerg, we will have Zeke for Team Sass NB. Now, interestingly, interestingly, in Awa's predictions in the Gambit Cup playoffs thread, he did say that if Zeke played in this clan war, uh, he would favor Sass Noobs to win 4-3. Whereas if Zeke did not show, then he'd favor Team GT to win 4-3. So let us see if the predictions of our esteemed organizer come true or not. Okay, both players are going to scout uh, counterclockwise here. Um, as expected, they will scout towards the closest natural. And well, let's see how the ZVZ is. Now, uh, Zeke is going to be Schnitzel's opponent tomorrow, so we already saw Schnitzel play a nice PVZ, or I guess he played a PVZ and a half <laughs> against Ace. Uh, but Zeke, we're going to see in a ZVZ. We're not going to see a ZVP, unfortunately. I would like to see that. Get a little, little taster, a little preview. But, uh, but no. Um, anyway. Overlords from both players and an overpool with gas from Zeke. And more drones being made for Michael. Uh, 12 drones. In fact, is he going to 12 hatch? Or 12 pool? There's no pool yet. He's at almost 300 minerals. It looks like he made a 12 hatch, but it's going to be a 12 hatch in the base. Ooh, he's going to do an in the main 12 hatch. He's not even going to put the hatchery next to his other hatchery. That's interesting. Uh, uh, I don't, why would you not, hold on, can some person who's like a good zerg tell me why you wouldn't put the hatcheries next to each other? I don't know why he left a gap there, can you put like a spire in between? Maybe like you can put a spire here and then a sunken here and it's like super protected or something, I don't know. That's kind of weird. I think... I hope you put the spire in a sunken here, and that be, and then, and then I just look like an, a genius. But, you know, we shall see. Anyway, players down for Michael, and uh, sorry for Zeke. Sorry, Zeke, 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 uh, and Michael is uh, just getting his pool and his gas now. Uh, lings are on the way, but Michael's lings should be in time. Is he actually doing the buy great build? Is he gonna build an expansion? He's saving up money. Oh my god, this is actually the buy great build. He's actually going 3 hatch here. Now, um, <laughs> you know, three weeks ago I would have been shocked to see this build, but apparently foreign zergs like it because we saw it like five times in ISL2. So I'm actually not surprised anymore. Uh, although he actually has yet to... Oh man, look at that, the overload barely missing those things. So... Michael actually has no idea what Zeke's doing. He's going to see two links coming out now. And where are his own links? Now he's going to have two hatches of links to uh, to defend this. So for those of you who are very confused by this build, this is a, a build that By Great invented when he played in the MSL that was like all Zergs. And uh, basically you have three hatch, you can get mass ling, and then you spore up to defend yourself. And you basically turtle with spore colonies. Um, and then And then you can take it from there. So you have like a million larvae to use. But, uh, anyway. Can, wait, is Michael going to lose his hatchery though? No, he won't. He's got, see, he's got two hatcheries of larva to pump links from, and Ziki can only reinforce with one. So, eventually, uh, Michael will just overpower him in numbers. But, Michael is getting pushed back to his ramp. Ziki might do a little ramp arc here and then attack with the, the reinforcing links. Looks like that's what he wanted to do, but Michael's going to try and break out before the arc finishes. It looks like he will have enough. So Zeke's little mini contain here is completely gone, and Zeke's actually spent all his larva on lings. So actually when his spire finishes, he won't have enough larva to make three mutas. Uh, but there's no... there's no... S wait a minute. 
Okay, no, he doesn't need one yet. I was gonna. Uh, I was trying to think. Okay, no Evo Chamber. That's the word I'm looking for. Evolution Chamber. But yeah, I don't think that was a good idea of Zeke to, to really uh, try and attack the head on. I don't think Zeke actually realized that there were two hatches in the main, perhaps. Uh, might have misread this as something like a 12 pool expand or something. Although I don't think so, because that hatch was quite late. And there is the Evolution Chamber. Uh, Zeke retreating with his Lings. He does. No, both players do have speed. A lot of Lings coming out for Michael. Uh, so a creep colony is going down for Zeke. Now, Michael. Wow, he's actually building a ton of lings here. Gonna put on some serious pressure. Might even just kill Zeke, but uh, obviously he will have the spores to defend his own base. And oh, looks like a great concave for Zeke. Michael throwing away his ling advantage, but if you look at the minimap, plenty of lings streaming in here from three hatches. And uh oh, the sunken. Oh, the sunken will barely finish in time. But that's gonna be a lot of links. However, Zeke going with a counterattack of two Zerglings. Can he get a drone? Can he get a drone? Drone 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 Oh, one drone does get taken down right there for two links, so the two links are worth it. Spore colony going up. And oh looks like Michael going for a counterattack. Gonna try and take down the Sunken. I don't know if he'll get it. It's gonna be close! Ah, Coroni goes down barely. And that's actually gonna Oh wow, for a second I thought the Mutas were attacking the Spire. That would have been weird. And by weird, I mean terrible, but, uh, you know, that's going to leave Zeke open to a lot of Link counterattacks. And look at this, Michael is hiding Links on the left side, but he did immediately rebuild the Sunken Colony. And pulled guys completely off gas, he's got 300 gas now, can make uh, three more Mutalisks, but it's actually just going to make drones. Uh, realizes he needs to drone up a bit, more Links going in here for Zeke. Now, Zeke can keep these Mutas at home for a while, at least until the Sunken finishes. Uh, which will buy time for him to spore up and uh, and also drone up if that's what he's doing. I believe, yeah, he is making drones now, as he should be. So uh, as long as Michael doesn't wait, did I say Zeke? I mean Michael. I keep getting these guys confused. Uh oh, uh oh, a lot of links hiding here. The mutas don't see it. The mutas don't see it. There are links of Zeke coming out. Oh man, but this could do so much damage. Now Michael's gonna wait for the mutas to move away. The mutas are moving away from home, but one link from Zeke does see it, and Michael's links are chasing it. Michael's not paying attention. He a moved the links. He a moved the links. The mutas of Zeke are coming back now. He needs to go in right now and do as much damage as possible. Is he gonna go after the sunken or the drones? I think he should go after the drones. No, he's gonna go after the sunken. The sunken is probably gonna go down here. Actually, it's gonna be close. Once again, the sunken going in. Oh, the sunken survives with 15 HP, three hits left. Actually, maybe four due to building armor, but either way, barely surviving. And looks like more lings are actually being produced, uh, as well as drones. He's actually just not mining gas. Still getting yet another creep colony here at the top side. He realizes the top of the mineral line is vulnerable still. Man, the, this, these spores are actually quite far away from the uh, from the mineral line. I think that's... I don't know if Zeke sees this yet. I'm pretty sure he can just micro back here behind the minerals. These spores, they seem to be quite far. I don't know, is Zeke going to go for it? Looks like Zeke doesn't realize. Oh no, he's actually going to go and uh, intercept these Zerglings. Uh, obviously he did see those with the Overlord. He's going to make that into a Spore. Yeah, he's going to make that into a Spore. And Zeke is expanding uh, as well. He's getting a plus one attack, interestingly, for his uh, Mutalisks. He only has three. But, you know, obviously this game is going to go uh, for quite a bit longer since Michael is turtling up. So Zeke's going to invest in that upgrade. I think it's a smart choice. And still no lair even for Michael. He is just now resuming gas production, but look how many drones he has. Uh, 12 drones in the main, plus, oh my god, 10 drones, 9 drones in the natural. He's got 21 drones in total against, uh, looks like, 13 for Zeke. So a huge drone advantage and still just buying time with these Zerglings. These are, these are, he doesn't really care about losing these either. He can just throw these away and uh, just not worry about it. Uh, although he would probably like to snipe a drone or two here and there. Looks like the Overlord's just hiding themselves. And oh my goodness, Zeke! Very interesting reaction. Gonna take a very fast third base here. I think I, I actually quite like this. He knows he has map control with the Mutas. So he's like, you know what? You know, that's fine. I'll just take another base. By the way, I do I do think uh, the Sunken is very smart. I was gonna say uh, he should have a Sunken at the front. And oh. He was taking a few hits. He is up to six now. More links moving out. And still no lair. Oh my god, he's gonna go Hydras! Is. Michael! Michael, are you crazy? 
Michael going crazy. He's gonna go Hydras. He's actually gonna go Hydras. I. Oh man, are you Pharrella? He's gonna go three hatch Hydra. He's building a Hydra den. He's he's building a Hydra den now. Uh oh, oh, two things are in the main somehow. Oh, they're gonna get drone, 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 drone. Nope. Now this, there might actually be some sick timing here because Ziki went for the fast third, so he's not gonna have a million units. He's just, you know, he's made uh, six mutas, and now he's just gonna drone up and keep map control. Yeah, look at this. He, oh no, looks like he's made two more. Uh, looks like he's actually getting plus two flyer attack. I've never seen this order of upgrades before. Getting plus two attack before carapace. That's very strange. Uh, I mean, in Muta vs Muta battles, the Carapace is king, but it looks like he's aware of the Hydrodin now, and look at this micro, Zeki, obviously, uh, amazing Muta micro, well not obviously, but he does, believe me, Zeki has sick Muta micro. And he knows what's up now, so he can actually just build, like, two Sunkins, three Sunkins at each base, and micro down all the Hydras as they come out. I don't... Uh, I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think this is gonna work at all because it's scouted. It's not good. It's not good. Oh man, Michael wasn't paying attention to these. So an interesting idea from Michael here, but uh, well, he's making some hydras now. I hope they don't actually get stuck here. Okay, no, they're not stuck. Range is about to finish. It looks like speed is actually finished already. Uh, and by that I mean it's not finished. Now he's getting speed. So, you see, th the problem with going Hydras, like, the reason Z ZVZ is always Mutaling is because it's so easy to Muta Micro down Hydras, because air units stack and ground units don't. So, you know, if you have a pack of, uh, what is this, eight Mutas, you can just Micro all day against Hydras, especially since they're upgraded, even. Uh, he's going to have plus two air weapons before the push comes. Well, actually, it'll be close, I think. Uh, obviously, Michael will wait for his plus one and wait for speed. Uh, oh, actually, maybe he won't have plus two. Looks like more lings came in here. Uh, looks like there's a bit of drone blood on the ground. Sorry, I'm missing it. I'm just trying to think about this, uh, this build. Michael. I thought he was in a good position. Uh, I think he kind of threw this game away, actually, just going for Hydras. Look at this. Look at this micro, you see? This is why mutas are better than Hydras. Okay, just when I say that, like, two mutas died to for no hydras. So Ziggy's just trying to make me look bad here. But, but, believe me, mutas are, are good against hydras. It's fine. And, yep, see, so he's gonna pick some more off. And, and Michael's moving out here. I keep calling Ziki or calling Michael Ziki. I don't know why. I, I, Ziki just feels like a purple name to me. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, when you say Ziki, it just screams purple to me. I don't know, that's, that could just be me. Uh, so, I mean, the plus two is... Might actually finish in time here. Uh, he's gonna buy some time with this Muta Micro. If he gets plus two, it'll be uh, pretty nice for him. And, yeah, look at that, building the extra Sunkins. So, I mean, he might lose his third base. But, that's, that's not good. It's not good for Michael. And I'm gonna do some more micro.